All right, let's use some of the world edit tools. So first thing um, we have is the wand, and this is a important tool. This is what we actually use to make our selections. So what I'll do is I will start by building a structure. So I'll just build a tunnel. Like so. And oops. Oh, that was right. Right there. All right. So one thing we can do now, this is just for a uh, kind of a one-dimensional. It's really easy. What I'll do is place some blocks here so I can get the topmost corner. I'm going to select down here. And that's our first block that we select. And then I'll select up here at the very top. And then I'll get rid of those. Oops, because we didn't need that one. Um, that was just so we can grab that selection. So now we have 30 blocks selected. And I'm going to face this way. And depending on which way you face, well, makes a big difference with some of the functions. So what I'll do is I'll face this way, and we'll come in here and we'll use the command stack. And then I'll stack 20, let's do 19. So all together we'll have 20. So this number is on top of what we already have. So we'll stack 19. And because we're facing this way, we don't need anything else. We'll just hit the next button. And then that quick, we've got ourselves a little tunnel. And then what I'll do is take some lanterns right here and I will place them all along. So what I'll do is take, I'm going to just do this side. We'll do this one and this one and we'll go, we'll go like that. And I will come back in and say stack and you know what actually we've only got that selected so we're facing this way I'm gonna use another command first so that we get a little bit of space we're gonna say expand and we'll expand two. so now we expanded two, and that means that there'll be a gap of two between this lantern because we've encompassed uh, two more blocks in front of us. So now when I say stack, I'll say stack, we'll just do, we'll do five and hit next. And what that's did is every, every two blocks, it put a lantern up to where I didn't go. So we can just continue this by putting it right there. And we can do the same thing on the other side too. So I'll just click this and I'll click this and this and we'll expand too. Make sure we're facing this way. Expand two and stack we'll say six. Actually we'll do seven. Next, oh, we didn't expand correctly. So I will take this opportunity to do stack or slash undo, and that will undo what we just did. And we will, oops, we will reselect these with the wand. Let's just reselect and say expand two total of six blocks in the west direction it says so now I will stack seven there we are so now we've basically built a tunnel oh and we've stacked a little too much with the seven so we can just get rid of those there we are so you can see the power of this. Now, one thing we could do too is we could 
uh, change some stuff around as well. So let's say we need this wall to be a different block. So we'll select the first one over here. And we'll come all the way down to the bottom one. And now we can just say set. And we'll do six. Oh, we don't want to. We didn't want to do six. Um, now the only thing, right there, we'll do set. Make our selection up here. Definitely dropped a lot of saplings. Oops. And there. All right. We want to do set. And we'll say to make it and let's make it stone there so now we've set that to stone because we have that problem we've dropped all the lanterns so you know we can throw those back in if we want We've got all those now. We've got our one wall that's made of stone. So the the commands uh, also have a lot of information about them. So if we just say the command like set and space help, we're going to get information about that command. So set, it accepts one argument, and it is an integer, and it's the ID of a block that we want to be placed. Um, and it changes the selection to a specified block and gives you an example right there. So that can be done with all of the commands as well. Um, but uh, essentially that's the, the general idea. You know, we can take this selection, we can come here to here and expand. And I'm going to expand 19, and I'm going to actually specify west, which is the direction in front of us, I believe. So now we've expanded west, and I believe this is south right here. One way to tell is if the direction of the clouds are moving forward, it's north. If they're moving backward, then you're facing south. So we're facing south. So I'll actually still face this way, but... I will say uh, expand one south and then we will stack one south as well. What we've did is we've placed uh, I think I expanded one. I forgot to do my other expand. So I will come back and do an undo. And I will take an expand. Um, let's do this. We'll just make it a little easier. We'll come down here. Select the bottom most block and the top most block on the other corner. And expand oops, expand one south. Now we can stack 
we'll say two south. Now we've got it. So now we've created three tunnels that quickly. And it even does other directions as well. So let's say we want these. You want to expand it. 19. Nineteen, and then we will actually stack these guys ten up. So we can stack all of them up as well. So we can do up and down, north, south, east, and west. Um, and we can do slash undo and slash redo as well and we can continue to undo so there you go that should be all you really need to know from here you can probably get a lot more done yourself but that's the uh, general idea of world edit you can also just type in world edit space help and get a list of the commands which just set stack expand undo and redo all right